Well, good morning, my good friends, once again. So, the election is over. It was over last week for you here in Canada, and nothing really changed. A few things here and there, but overall, the big picture is pretty much exactly the same as it was before. So, all that work for nothing. <laughs> on all sides nobody really won nobody gained ground really not not anything to speak of but yeah so that's over we can get back to our lives now i'm going to work we had a late day yesterday and uh i'm on my way back to work already before the sun time to go back as soon as the law says i can start i gotta be ready to start we're going back to uh, Thief River Falls today, but I think we're only doing one run today. <laughs> we ran into some problems that delayed us yesterday. Got to watch yesterday's video for that. It was a little bit uh, frustrating. We had a few setbacks, but we got her done. And we're going to go back again today and see how we feel after one. I don't know if he needs me to do two or not, but we shall find out. I will see you when we get to the truck. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, hello. Bit of a shorter night. Well, that's okay. We got some trucking to do. Let's get to work. We'll hook onto an empty step deck and make my way back down to Thief River Falls. So, like I've told you before, it's a two hour drive from here, approximately, and about a two hour drive back. But it usually takes longer than two hours. I mean, in theory, it's a two hour drive, but trucks are a little bit slower. Gotta remember that, I learned that yesterday. It takes a little bit longer than you think it will. I wasn't dragging my feet either. I mean, I had to fuel up in the morning. That took some time out of my day. Other than that, like I wasn't dragging my feet. I didn't stop for lunch at all. I just kept going. It's just everything just takes a little bit longer than you expect it will. And I've said that before, that's trucking. However, however long you think it's gonna take, it's gonna be a little bit longer than that. Safe to assume. All right, so we're gonna find one of these empties. There's a step deck right in front of us, right there, you see it? You see it? Is that a triaxle? Or is it a tandem? That's a tandem, ha <laughs> ha, I'm gonna take it. I prefer to take tandems when I go down there because they're very light loads. You don't need a triaxle. But if there's no tandems available, then you take the triaxle. It's just then if you need a triaxle here, then you don't have a triaxle here. big deal you can still pull light loads with it it's just why use it if you don't have to right so I'll take them if I have to we got a tandem today let's go let's go hook her up oh it's a beautiful morning though not a cloud in the sky nice crisp air it's not cold it's not even chilly, it's just crisp. You know what I mean? You need a sweater. Crisp. <sighs> I stepped in a big pile of mud. Trying to ruin my morning. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, you're not gonna ruin my day. First thing in the morning, step up a big pile of mud. It didn't look that soft. Didn't know it was that big or that. I didn't know it was that squishy. Just thought it was water. All right, you know the drill. Let's make sure everything's working. 
There's a light right there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's see if there's any more lights. There's a light right there. Fantastic. Any more lights? That one, and it's blinking. It's called a blinker because the light goes blink. Good. Working. Compressed with air. Fantastic. All right, let's see, let's see. Just got the brake lights working and you got the signals working. Let's just make sure this license plate light's working. It sure is. All right, this light is not on. That's good, you don't want that light on. Most lights are good, some lights aren't. That light's on. That light over there is the uh, ABS light. Usually when that light's on, usually means there's a problem with the wiring, but uh, worst case scenario, there's a problem with your ABS system on your trailer. So it is a big deal, but uh, usually it just means the wiring is, uh, something's wrong with the wiring. That's usually all it is. It's all it's ever been for me in like 15 years of trucking. Whenever the ABS light's on, it's usually up at the front there where you connect the lights to the trailer something there isn't connecting properly in his man that's almost almost every time but still you want to make sure that, that lights off it's always on the driver's side the back of the trailer and it's yellow and it usually says abs right beside it that's for the abs brakes you get it all right this trailer has passed my inspection my scrutiny my thorough pre-trip. Landing gear is up. It has my approval to enter the public roadways. I will vouch for it. Personally, to the government. I've got to fill it out now saying, I, Josh, hereby certify that this trailer is okay and that nothing's gonna fall off and kill anybody that all the brakes work the tires are filled with hair it's got mud flaps i'm not gonna be throwing rocks at people all the lights are working i can vouch for it it's safe to go so since i vouched for it if i missed anything and an inspector catches it it's on me and the fine goes to me just giving my dashboard the bull snot treatment here first thing this morning. Gotta take care of her. I use the visible glass cleaner and it cleans my dash really nice. Probably do this every day, but uh, yesterday was a bit of a long day. I ran out of time in a big way. <laughs> so I didn't clean it yesterday. I could tell right away. Got all kinds of dust. I don't know where all this dirt comes from. Every day it collects all the dirt it can. Like it, it's like it calls out to it and invites it into the truck or something. Because I sure don't invite any of this dust in here. I start with that and then I end off with a nice little uh nice little dusteroo here. That catches all the dust particles that this doesn't catch. This is a microfiber cloth, but doesn't catch all the, the particles. That picks up all the last ones. Get this thing all done on here. It may be an old truck. She may not be that pretty. Shh, don't don't say that for her. Though. But you still gotta keep your environment in here somewhat clean. I'm not the cleanest guy, I'm gonna admit that to you, okay? Disclaimer, I am not a clean freak. I'm not a germaphobe, but I still like to have everything, you know, decent. Okay, okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Welcome 
to Minnesota. So we just crossed into the United States. Feeling good today. You know, I thought I'd be a little bit more tired because I had a long day yesterday, but I actually feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I went home, I showered up, I went straight to bed like a good boy. Got up on time this morning, got to work at my regular time. Just another day. I'm glad, I was kind of worried. I was like, oh, I hope I'm not gonna be tired all day. It's always difficult getting through a whole day when you're just tired from not getting enough sleep. But no, I'm doing fine. I'm gonna go pick up some more of these snow machines, bring them back to Canada. Somebody's planning on having a whole bunch of fun this winter. So just like in the morning, we have to do a pre-trip on this trailer now because I have to vouch for this trailer to be safe to travel on the highways. So I'm gonna go around here. We call it a pre-trip, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's me making sure everything is in good working order and that it is, that it's safe. Because once again, if anything is wrong with this trailer and I get pulled over or pulled into a scale or if the worst happens, I get into an accident or something because of faulty equipment, I vouched for this trailer, so that means I'm responsible for it. If anything goes wrong with it, or if anything isn't as it should be, the fine goes directly to me. Not to the company or anything, to me. I'm signing off on it. So if it's not safe, it's up to me to not take it on the highway. We got our lights working. Landing gears up. Pin is locked in. Yep. Okay. Lights working, signal lights, marker lights. Tires are not flat. When I kick them, I'm obviously not checking for exact pressure. I'm just checking to make sure they're not flat. Because if this tire, the outside tire is still inflated, but the inside tire is flat, sometimes you can't tell just by looking at them. You gotta go and kick them just to make sure, or hit them with a hammer. That works too. The marker light on the back is on. ABS light, once again, this trailer has it a little bit different, but it's still here. That's off. Sounds good. So on the back, all our lights are working properly. Brake lights, signals, tail lights, marker lights. License plate light. That's important not to forget that one. That one's easy to forget because especially during the daylight hours, you know, it doesn't do much during the day, but once the sun goes down, it's definitely needed. And you're still gonna get uh, hassled over it if it's daylight hours and you get an inspection and that light's not working, they're still gonna give you a hard time about it. So even during the day, it has to be working. It doesn't necessarily legally have to be on in all jurisdictions, but I would say turn them on anyways. Turn all your lights on all the time, regardless of what the weather's like or where the sun is. Always have your lights on. It's for safety. It's a good habit to get into. Signal light. Okay. I don't hear any air leaks. My truck is adjusting the suspension. I can hear the air filling up in the trailer. I'm going to wait for it to finish and then just go around once more with the truck engine off just to double check, make sure that there's no air leaks. And then I will sign off on it and tell the government that, hey, Trucker Josh says this trailer is safe and good to go. If anything goes wrong with it, you can, you can blame me. Is it coming with? Yep. 
that's good. So we have about a two hour drive back to the yard. And then I gotta park everything, get everything cleaned up, ready for tomorrow. We're gonna do another round like this tomorrow. So far there's only one trip to do tomorrow. Uh, but uh, how many times did I just say tomorrow? Tomorrow. One trip tomorrow, it might turn into two. So I'm gonna get everything ready to go and then head home. I love these days. It's a nice ride down here. Two trips fills up the day just nice. As long as everything goes smoothly. If we get hung up anywhere, it could, uh, it could get tight very quick. My e log. this beast to sleep and take all my stuff home yes I have a lot of stuff where do you all put it when diesel comes with it's squishy I'll just say that I find places I can put stuff underneath this uh, this bed there too I built it in a way that I can put my put stuff like under that uh, platform eh, we make it work we make it work but he didn't come with today uh, possibly could have I don't want to bring them with every day. I've explained this before. You guys get it. Some days is good, uh, but he is retired. Okay, so sometimes, you know, sometimes he comes with just for old time's sake. But for the most part, he's an old guy already. And uh, uh, it's sometimes it's better for him when he can spend the day at home with his family in the yard. Other times when I know Britt is going to be working all day and he'll be at home alone with his brothers anyway, then, then I take him along. But time for me to go home. I'm, I'm starting to get tired now. I was feeling good before. I wasn't feeling the short night before, but now as the work day is coming to a close, it's starting to catch up with me. I need to go home, but I can't go to bed right away because then I'll just sleep right through the morning. I can't have a nap and then wake up. That doesn't work for me. So I got to keep myself awake until bedtime and then I'm going to sleep like a rock and rocks sleep good. They sleep the best. It was a good day though. Beautiful day. Weather was just perfect. You know, the morning was just, like we said, it was crisp. Not cold, not chilly, just crisp. And the rest of the day was just perfect. Not too hot, not too warm, just perfect. Now it's time to go home. Got to keep myself awake for a couple more hours yet. <laughs> it's me! It's me! Frank! Your favorite dude! It's me! I don't know about that. Hey Chevy! Hey Chevy! Hey Chevy! Hey Diesel! How you doing guys? How you doing? You have a good day or what? You have a good day? Oh, it was a fantastic day, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, boys. Frank's got a poop. Come on, let's go. In the yard. In the yard, guys. There they go. Scattering off. Oh, sweet caffeine. Mmm, it's the good stuff. You know Pepsi Max, or Pepsi, whatever this is, Zero, whatever this is, has uh, 
a lot of terrible things in it, but among all of those terrible things is caffeine. 69 milligrams to be precise, higher than your average sugar water. You shouldn't drink pop, kids. You should drink water. Don't be like Sugar Josh. You'll end up with one of these big bellies. I've got to get rid of that. Actually, Brett and I have committed to trying really hard this year uh, to get in shape for our anniversary next year. Our anniversary next year is our fifth anniversary, so it's a big one. It's a, it's a whole five. So we want to be uh, fit and in shape for our five-year anniversary photos. We want to do like a little photo shoot and stuff, so gives us a little bit of a year. It's not too ambitious, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm too tired to think about that right now. Okay, that's why I have this. I'm not perfect, okay? Sorry to shatter the image of perfect Trucker Josh in your mind. I am not perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yep. Yep. That's good stuff.